Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I'm Chris HFM and this is Rebuilding the Castle Part 2. Now, as you can see on the screen at the moment, we played four friendlies. And we got a nil-nil, Leverstock Green, a little bit flat to be fair. Had a couple of good performances from uh, Tommy Oakley, Andrew Bonner, uh, Richard Bentley. Uh, keeper played alright as well, obviously nil-nil, made a couple of saves. But then played Biggles Wade at home. Obviously, James Verney turned up in this one and Josh Chamberlain both getting on the score sheet. James Verney getting two goals. And what I've worked out is he could possibly be our key to getting as many goals as possible this season. He looks like a quite a, quite a decent established striker at this level. Hopefully, we'll be able to keep hold of him when the team starts signing players again. Obviously, I made a mistake in the last episode saying that I was going to bring back the transfer news and stuff with you but obviously there isn't any transfers in this first window so we're going with what we've got until January we then played at home to Tring which was I mean we were pretty we were sitting comfortably at 3-0 up Stuart, Stuart Tebble got a hat-trick but then Tring scored three goals obviously in like 10 minutes 15 minutes to make it 3 or and then Verney again 87th minute <coughs> sorry 87th minute puts us 4-3 up to win the game but really I've just been testing out players I've been making loads of subs obviously it's friendlies I've been getting the fitness levels up getting the players playing properly we then played at home to Oxy Jets who I have played against in real life and I think they are still an established kids Sunday league team but obviously yeah 4-2 winners against them we're scouting Ray Andrew because he actually did look quite decent against us obviously Verney get on the score sheet again Lovely little ball played through this time by Kirkpatrick straight over the top. Bernie controlled it, rounded the keeper and then slotted it away. Be nice to see some of that. But the main reason we're here is for the first game of the season away at Kempston. And if we take a look at the division for the season preview, it's got us obviously finishing top and it's got Kempston down in 17th. So the first game of the season really should be a test for us to push ourselves forward and really show what we're going to be about in this league. A uh, team that I'm going to go with is Potter in goal, Kelly at right back, Oakley and Lynch in the centre, Cleaver at left back, Dolan in that holding midfield role, Green and Olajubu in the centre, Bentley, Tebble and Verney up front. We also got a pretty bad injury for six, seven weeks. It's down to five weeks at the minute. He damaged his kneecap in one of the games, obviously. Andrew Bonner is one of our best players at left back. He can also play centre back as well, so we have got cover for those positions. But let's get straight into this. Martin Lynch, yeah, I don't care. He should be alright. Go to match. Now, the 1st of August. First game of the season. As you can see, there's the two starting teams. Tony Joyce is up against me today at Hills Ground Leisure. That's cool. Now we're going to go hands together. Favourites for a reason. Let's see if we can fire anyone up. Only Kenny Cleaver seems to be fired up by that. And let's get straight into it then. So here we go. First game of the save on YouTube. Nine minutes in. Free kick comes from Doolin. Up goes an Ola Jubu. Sorry, I got a little bit tongue tied then. It was first goal of the season, and we're nine minutes in. 1-0 up, ball comes in. I mean, that's ridiculously fast in a replay. May have to sort them out. But 20 minutes in, looking a little bit rosy. Cleaver takes a throw in. Bentley whips it across. And there's Tebby to make it 2-0 after 23 minutes. And straight away, it looks like the league season preview wasn't lying or joking about what's going to be happening. Uh... Really, my my biggest worry in this division, I've gone off the line there, but the biggest thing I've got in this division is fitness. I think you play every two to three days in this division for the whole season. Obviously, with cup games mixed in, our players are going to lack physical attributes as they keep going. So it could be a little bit, a little bit worrying as we get further on in the season. But as we go, we'll see how that goes on. As you can see, Tebble now passes it in. Olajubu forward, Bentley controls, has a go, and it's just over the bar. 
and we're 2-0 up and looking looking pretty, pretty comfortable at the moment. What's this? A free kick now to Kempston. Comes across and straight over the top of the bar. A lot of power, just couldn't get any accuracy on it, luckily for us. Heaver's throwing now, whips it across first time, Tebble drops it and that is in from James Verney for his first goal of the season. And here's the player that I think will help us progress more and get us up these, up this football pyramid if we can keep hold of him. I mean, I'm, I'm going to turn off. I'm going to turn off replays because they're just too quick. I can't, I haven't worked out how to slow them down yet. When I've worked out how to slow them down, I will bring them back in. And at half time, we're looking rosy at 3 0 up. I'll point the finger and say, That's amazing. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing, lads. As you can see, our XG is 0 0.89 and theirs is 0 0.39. They've had four shots all off target. Possession's 55 45. We're getting, our players are getting a little bit tired now, so it might be time to make a change. 72 minutes in, it's going to be Stephen Ricketts will come on for Martin. Lynch and we will leave it at that for now. I'm also training um one of the younger players, I can't remember his name at the minute, to go in that holding midfielder role because we don't actually have any cover there. So and I've got about six wingers that can apparently play there and none of them are any good. So I'm retraining one of the younger lot to see if they can well they could cement it as their own position if they turn up and play well enough. As you can see, 81 minutes in. I mean, that's a lovely ball over the top to Tebble. At non-league, you don't see that. Tebble fights well, and it's just over the bar, I think, from Benley, or just may have just touched the crossbar. We'll make a couple more changes just to keep those fitness levels up. We'll take Tebble off. Chamberlain on. We'll also take Bentley off for Alec. That should see us through for the first game of the season. And yeah, so another ball played forward. Chamberlain knocks it on. It's not going to go anywhere. Ball's played forward again from Kempston. He's in. Okay, just put the ball through. Hunt's in, and that should have been a save. It's pretty poor goalkeeping, to be fair, from Potter there. Should have had enough strength to push that wide. But at the end of the day, it's three points on the first game of the season away from home and I'm very happy with that in general so we'll be sitting in the playoffs for the next game I know it's the first game of the season it's maybe really too early to be judging things like that as you can see verney has got his first goal of the season we needed him to get off early to start firing through obviously I can't sign any of these players till January so they are getting all put on shortlist and I will I mean he's Ancient. I don't want anyone at that age. 30 year old fullback could come in and do a job. 21 year old centre back. I mean, I've got four centre backs that can play, but we'll put him on there anyway. And with a bit of luck, hopefully, we can get a team that wants to play. I mean, we could still, obviously, in January, we could still lose Potter, Oakley, Cleaver. Tebble may go, Bentley may go, Andrew Bonner could go, and I think Andrew Bonner is our club captain, so obviously we're going to be working out. I mean, if you look at the ages of our players that are playing, we've got one, two, three, four, five, sixteen year olds in the starting eleven, a further two on the bench. So as you can see, like we've got genuinely quite a young squad. I mean, I've promoted a few people. From the under 18s and under 23s just to give us some sort of base as of a squad and uh yeah i'll be back for the kidlington game in just a minute right then folks second game of the season up against kidlington so you can see we just come back off of our 3-1 victory against kempston team we're going to go with today i mean i've changed a couple because of uh bentley's come out because his fitness isn't fully fit martin lynch's fitness isn't great we're going to leave tebble out there because he seems to cause a lot of problems when he plays he will probably be coming off though at some point due to the fact that he isn't exactly 100 percent fit either and his match load seems to be quite heavy so we'll we'll see we'll keep an eye on him and see how things go 
The team today will be Potter in goal, Kelly Cleaver at fullback, Ricketts and Oakley at centre back, Doolan at holding midfielder, Green and Olajubu in the centre, Azlek, Tebel and Verney as our front three. I mean, as you can see, we've got a few players that might not last the 90 minutes just because of the fitness levels that you need to have at this sort of level. I mean, it's non-league. We've all played non-league football. We know what it's like. It's, I don't understand the fitness thing because I remember playing double headers. We played 180 minutes on the same Saturday morning, same Saturday afternoon, same Sunday morning. We'll tell them to pick up where they left off. And here we go then. First home game of the season for Burkhampstead. Let's see how well we can do in front of our own fans. The goal kick, Cleaver heads it forward. Alajubu now plays it into Green. Green with a lovely ball over the top. Tebbles in here. It's a great tackle. Absolutely fantastic tackle that is. From Kidlington's left back. Brilliant tackle. You don't see much of that, do you? Eh? Champions, Champions League. The lower league, I was going to say. Getting a bit ahead of myself. Botang now plays it all the way back to his keeper, Lawrence. Boots it forward. Come on, we should get on that. Kelly now puts it out wide. Azrak puts it forward. Bernie's in here, and it's a great save from the opposing keeper. I mean, I can't... It's not letting me do any shouts, which is a little bit weird. I might have that set up wrong. We'll have to have a look. Just individuals... Well, I've got that set up wrong, so I'll have to change that for the next game because I don't like not being able to shout my own players. What's the point? Ball played over the top. Should be comfortable for Ricketts. Plays it back to Potter. Potter now takes his time. Plays it back out wide. Cleaver now. Puts it over the top. Vernie didn't even jump for that. I mean, there's been lazy. There's been high and they're in, and it's a good save from Potter. I'm trying to learn their name, their first names, but... I haven't obviously got a grasp of that yet either. Ball's going to come in. That's a great block there from Cleaver. Fantastic play there. Half an hour gone then. Nil, nil. I can't believe... Oh, I have. Why hasn't that worked for the first half hour? The ball comes in and there's James Verney for his second goal of the season. And Burko seemed to be on the right tracks at the moment at this early stages. I mean, it's only the second game, but we'll take these points. Lady now puts it forward. Tebbles in. He has a go. Bit of a soft effort. I've seen kids hit a ball harder than that. Kelly now whips it across. Um, right, takes the throw. Whips it now. And Vernie's there again. It's offside. It's not going to count. There's a lovely little cushioned header to the top left hand corner. But it has been ruled out. Now it's half time. 1 0 is a little bit of a risky scoreline. I'm going to tell them to keep it up. Maybe get a little bit of motivation still going for the start of the second half. Our XG's looking good. Odambo puts the ball across. It's headed away. Tebble will get that. He brings it forward. He's got Verney ahead of him. Slowing his run down. Tebble still going. Gives it to Verney and it's just put wide. Maybe Tebble should have carried on going. Craig McHale Smith scored for Bedford. Is that the Craig McHale Smith that was at Peterborough and a few years ago you know, as I said Tebble's not fully fit we're going to bring Chamberlain on because they'll swap round naturally anyway Oakley's a centre back he's having a bit of a he's not fully fit either we'll make them two subs for now I don't like taking centre backs off but we need him to be as fit as possible throughout the season if we're going to be able to do anything and we need to keep him when that transfer window reopens we're going to bring on Ali Bangura but right back, he's on loan from Hemel Hempstead Town, just up the road. And 85 minutes in, I mean, it's 1-0. Don't really want to change anything and make us cautious or defensive. It is telling me to do that. But that's not how I play. So that's for, like, the bigger games when we're in the FA Cup and stuff, if we go on a good run. And out cleans in. Ajek just puts it wide. And second game of the season, 1-0. And that's a very good start to the season for Burkhamsted FC. Top of the league after two games. Gura's made his debut. And that 
we'll wrap up this episode. I'm probably going to play a few more games now, and I might I'll come back for. Well, we got the FA Cup there, so I'll come back for St. Newt's Town and the FA Cup game. If that's how it works out. If not, then I'll come back for FA Cup and Southern League Cup. But it'll be around here anyway. But uh, if you enjoyed that, if you're new to the channel, please give a, a nice fat thumbs up in that like section. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you very much for watching. Take care.